Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, I'll show you how to install AWS CLI and configure a named profile on your computer. Then you can use the named profile to authenticate with your AWS account in any project where you have to programmatically create resources in your AWS account. In this example, I'll show you how to use the named profile in your Terraform project, but the same process applies to any other project you work on. To configure a named profile on your computer, you must install AWS CLI on your computer, then create an IAM user with programmatic access, then use the user's credentials to configure a named profile on your computer. So to start this lecture, the first thing we will do is install AWS CLI on our computer. To install the AWS command line in Google, type AWS command line in the search box. Once you type AWS command line, press enter. Under your Google search results, select the AWS command line interface and make sure the one you select is the one that has aws.amazon.com. Select the AWS command line interface. Then click getting started. On this page, click this drop down under getting started, then click install. On this page, scroll down. And here you will find the AWS CLI installation instructions. I'll be installing AWS CLI on a Windows computer. So I'll click this drop down, then scroll down. Under install or update the AWS CLI. You can click this link to download the executable file, or you can run this command in the terminal. Click this link to download the executable file. Once you've clicked the link, it will download the executable file to your computer and you can see it here. I'm going to right click on it and click show in folder. And in my downloads directory, you will see the executable file here. Just in case if this is not showing on your computer, usually when you download a file on the internet, the file will be downloaded to your downloads directory. So make sure you go to your downloads directory to check the file. Once you have found the executable file you downloaded, double click on it to start the installation. Then click next. Accept the terms in the agreement. Then click next. Click next again. Then click install. Click yes. And it is now installing the CLI on my computer. I'll give it some time to finish installing it. And there you go. The CLI has been successfully installed on my computer. To finish the installation, click finish. Now that we have installed the AWS CLI on our computer, the next thing we need to do is verify that it is installed. To verify that the AWS CLI is installed on your computer, open the command prompt. Once you open the command prompt, type AWS space dash dash version. Once you type AWS space dash dash version, press enter. And there you go. AWS CLI is installed on my computer. So basically, once you type AWS space dash dash version and you press enter, if you get an output like this, it means AWS CLI is installed on your computer. To create the IAM user in the management console, type IAM in the search box. Then select IAM under services. In the IAM dashboard, select users on the left side. Then click add users. Give your user a name. I'll call it Terraform user. Once you've given your user a name, under select AWS access type, we will select access key programmatic access. I will enable it by clicking this box. And I'm going to click next for permissions. On this page, we will attach a permissions policy directly to this user. So click attach existing policies directly. Then select administrator access. If you don't see administrator access here, you can search for it in here. Once you find it, select it. Then click next to add tag. We are not going to give it any tag. Click next to review. On this page, you can review your settings. We are creating an IAM user called Terraform user. The user has programmatic access and we have attached an administrator policy to that user. Once you've reviewed everything, click Create User. 
Once you have created your IAM user, on this page, click Download CSV. And it is going to download the CSV file to your computer and open it. Just in case if the CSV file does not open on your computer like mine, you can find the file in your downloads directory. So for example, if I open the file explorer and in my file explorer, I'm going to go to the downloads directory. In my downloads directory, you will see the CSV file in there. Once the CSV file is open on your computer, I'm going to expand this. In this CSV file, we have the name of our Terraform user and the Terraform user has an access key ID and secret access key. These credentials is what Terraform will use to authenticate with our AWS environment. The thing about access key ID and secret access key, make sure you keep them as secret. You don't want to expose it to anyone. I'm only showing you my access key and secret access key so you know what they look like. After this video, I'm going to delete it and create a new one. This is an important thing I want you to know. So once you've downloaded the CSV file and verified that your credentials is in there, we are going to minimize this for now. In the management console, another thing I want to mention is make sure you download your user's credentials because once we click out of this page, you won't be able to see that credentials anymore. Once you've downloaded your credentials, click close. There you go. We have successfully created an IAM user and Terraform will use this user's credentials to create resources in our AWS account. Creating a named profile for the IAM user will allow Terraform to use that user's credentials to authenticate with our AWS environment. To create a named profile for the IAM user we created in the previous lecture, the first thing I want you to do is open your command prompt. Once you have opened your command prompt, we will use this command to create a named profile for our IAM user. And this is the command. This is the command we will use to create a named profile for our IAM user. And the command is AWS configure dash dash profile. And after profile, press space again. And what we are going to do is specify the name for our profile. You can create any profile name you want, but I always like to match my profile name to the IAM user's name. So for my profile name, I'll type Terraform user. And this is the full command. Command is AWS configure dash dash profile and we specify the profile name. Once you've typed the command, press enter. Once you type enter, the first thing it is going to ask you for is the access key ID. So I want you to open your CSV file and in our CSV file, I'm going to select my access key ID here. I'll copy it. Then I'll come back to my command prompt and paste it in there. Once you paste your access key ID, the next thing it is going to ask you for is your secret access key. Come to your CSV file again, select the secret access key, copy it. Then come back to your command prompt and paste it in there. Once you paste your secret access key, the next thing it is going to ask you for is your default region. We will be creating all of our project in the US East one region. So we are going to enter that in here. Just to show you that region up here in the management console, if you select this drop down, we are creating our project in the Northern Virginia region and the region is US East one. So that is what you will enter in your command prompt. I will put my command prompt again. I will enter us east one. Once you've entered us east one, press enter. Once you enter your region, the next question it is going to ask you is your default output format. And for this, we won't enter anything. Press enter. We have successfully created a named profile for our IAM user and that user's credentials is stored on our computer. To see where the IAM user's credentials is stored on your computer, open the file explorer. Once you've opened your file explorer, select the C drive, then select the user's folder. In that folder, you'll see your name here. On my computer, it says admin, select it. Then in this folder, you'll see a .aws folder. 
click the dot aws folder in the dot aws folder your user's credentials is in the config and the credentials file to see the content of these files all you have to do is right click on it then click open with and select notepad then click ok and there you go you can see the profile name that we just created terraform user and the region is us east one you can also come in here and update your user's profile name anytime you want so you don't have to type it in the command prompt you can come in this file and update it there anytime you want so that is the profile name i'll close this next let's check the credentials right click on it and click open with then select notepad and click ok and here in this file you'll find your user's access key id and secret access key you can also come in here to update your user's access key id and secret access key anytime you want you don't have to type aws configure in the command prompt you can come directly into this file to update your user's credentials once you've configured the name profile on your computer in your terraform project first you will create a provider block that looks like this then for the option profile you enter the name of the name profile you configured on your computer this is how you can use terraform to authenticate with your aws account without exposing your access key id and secret access key if there's any part of this lecture you don't understand please leave your comments below thank you and i'll see you in the next lecture bye